So today, the rubber really hits the road. Yesterday, we kind of did beyond elementary integration, reversing the power law. Today, we'll start interesting integration, which is reversing the chain rule. But we'll do embarrassing. It's called integration by substitution, and we'll do the embarrassing variety of problems of that kind. By embarrassing, I mean it's really in your face, obvious invitation to use the chain rule in reverse. So just to warm up, let's take a couple of derivatives to burn that pattern into our brains. And just remind yourself that this really means sine of x to the 8th power. It's a very nice tradition that we put the 8 on the sine and skip the parentheses. But sometimes it can lead to confusion because it, because it looks like the 8 happens before the x. But no, sine happens first, and then you take the 8th power of sine of x. So that's what happens. I should have left more space, but that's okay. And also... I'll, let you, I'll give you 30 seconds to do this, although you should be able to do it more quickly. Okay. So, remember that the key to doing the chain rule right is to look at a function and name it with one word. So this is a power. This is a cosine. This is a power, eighth power, of sine of x. This is the cosine of x to the ninth power. So very different functions. So because this is the power, this is a power function, we use the power law first. It's something to the eighth power. So the answer is eight times that something to the seventh power. So we're done using the power law. We'll now chain, we'll now roll with the chain rule times the derivative of that something. The derivative of that something was sine, its derivative is cosine. Focus on the pattern, let's do the second derivative. This is cosine of something. So the derivative of cosine is sine. No, it's not. The derivative of cosine is minus sine. So this will be minus sine of something, and that something is x to the ninth. I already regret not leaving space in here, but I will actually sneak it in. So now we have to do the power of that something. That something was x to the ninth. So now we have to do the derivative of that something. The something was n to the x to the ninth. So its derivative is 9 times x to the eighth. So the pattern that we have to learn to recognize is that if you have a function of something, and you're taking its derivative, you have to take the derivative of that function and apply it to something, and then multiply it by the derivative of that something. And there is a great subtlety in this expression. That's why it's so very important to always speak your formulas out. You have to sound them out. If you just stare at them, it doesn't help because there is a very subtle difference between putting the prime here and putting the prime here. Right? But this means substitution happens first and we're taking the derivative of the whole thing. Here we're saying forget about that, just take the derivative of the outermost function and then do the substitution and then multiply it by the derivative of what it is you inserted into that function. Okay? So this was just the warm-up. Now let's actually do some integrals. 